Hello there folks, and how is it going? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> hey, it's like, I don't know what to say about any of this at all, because it is glorious. And the sun is rising in this direction, and we are looking at this absolutely colossal scene. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, lake. I'm gonna say lake, it's probably not a lake. I assume it's a tidal thing, or the sea. Uh, maybe I'll have a sip and we can have a taste. But it is, it's just gorgeous. Now, I'm gonna start this video by showing you what we did last night. It was, it, words are, it's difficult to describe the beauty of last night's sunset. I didn't do any vlogging or anything like that, um, just because every, like, I just didn't, uh, but I, I certainly took a lot of pictures. So I'm gonna overlay those first before we kind of get into where we are right now. Uh, so classic ASMR photography lab style coming at you in the first couple of minutes of a video. Unheard of, I know, but magnificent nonetheless. This is like, <laughs> it's absolutely exceptional. So let's have a look at what happened last night and, uh, and then we'll get back to, to right now. Welcome friends to the ASMR Photography Studio and welcome to this absolutely glorious scene. I love this photograph from the natural contrast of the beautiful golden highlights and the deep dark blue in the shadows. It all came together just so, so wonderfully. And as this whole evening progressed, everything about this place just went on fire. Absolutely magnificent. The beautiful thing about photographing a pier like this, as we explored from last week's video, is getting the opportunity to use leading lines in your images. These really help emphasize a path through the photograph and ultimately brings the eye to what is the main subject of the frame, i.e. the big mountains in the background and the beautiful sky above. I am so happy with how everything came together for this image. If you happen to be following along the stories on Instagram while I was traveling uh, through this magnificent land, you would have seen the progression of just how magical this evening was. Getting the opportunity to photograph such a blaze in the sky is so, so perfect. And standing at a location like this, just it's difficult for me to explain succinctly just how wonderful it was. The sky was just pure, pure fire. And again, like the previous image, using this pier as a leading line to help bring the eye through the frame just worked out so wonderfully. And that fiery reflection on the water surface as well, it's just it's, <laughs> I'm so happy with how it all worked out. It was absolutely magic. Well, I hope my smooth ear butter did those photographs anyway, kind of justice, and that they actually turned out okay. Um, because what I just said a moment ago before, the pictures would make no sense because you wouldn't have seen the pictures if they didn't turn out. But now I have moved down. So that pier, everybody's at the pier this morning, uh, at the same pier, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous location. You got the lovely lines that lead you out into the mountains. But then uh, yesterday, Brendan came down here to this beach and then recommended that this morning that I come down here because it is wonderful. You've got all these gorgeous uh, rocks in the foreground that I'm trying to find a nice balance between to help us 
lead us into the mountains. I'm essentially trying to recreate yesterday's picture, uh, but in lieu of a pier, I'm trying to use these wonderful rocks and, uh, and try to find a balance between the rocks and the mountains and then smooth out the water and try to get nice long exposure uh, to, uh, you know, just to smooth out that water and make it nice and calm. Not that it's super choppy, as you might be able to see here, it's not bananas choppy at all. But these kinds, at least for me, these kinds of pictures are going to work out much, much nicer if it's, it's nice and smooth. <laughs> so anyway, I have a composition here. It's a simple, I'm zoomed right in at 75 millimeters and it's a simple competition. I'm just using just this rock in the foreground, trying to balance them with this big mountain in the back. And I have shot a couple of wide shots as well, but oh, I hope you can see here behind me, this sky is lighting up on fire. So hopefully the trend continues above these mountains and we get the kind of gloriousness that we're ultimately here for. So fingers and toes are crossed by all of us and we are having an absolutely magnificent time. And how could you not? Because this place is just spectacular. So for now, I'm gonna hone in, dial in a good composition and I'm gonna sit on it probably and see what happens in the sky. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's go hunting. This, I think, was my favorite photograph from this entire morning. It's different from the one that I was just rambling on about, and I am so happy that I found it and just decided to kind of wait, because, wow. The sky put on such a beautiful display of color, and the reflection on the surface of those pink hues was just absolutely magic. I love this. For me, when I look at this photograph, it almost reminds me of like a Zen garden. And that's one thing that really stood out to me when going through the different images that I photographed throughout the course of this morning. And I really, really am so, so happy with how it all worked out. One of the magnificent opportunities when photographing mountains that are as colossal as these is getting the opportunity to witness <laughs> whatever about photograph, but just to see Alpine glow. It's always such a beautiful experience, and this was no different. I attached my trusty 100 to 400 to really punch in and focus in on those peaks off in the distance. And then of course, using a uh, variable ND filter, the only one that fits on the lens, uh, I was able to slow down some motion in the water as well. Now, truth be told, the effect of the water, I used a bit of Photoshop magic to help me. Uh, it was quite slowed down anyways, but for me, just not enough. So I just used one of the filters in Photoshop to just basically drag it just a touch more, just to give it the effect that you're looking at right now, which is ultimately what I was aiming for anyway. But the, unfortunately, the filter that I have for the front of the lens, it just wasn't slow enough it's not it's not as dark enough to be able to capture those long long exposures that i would ultimately have liked still absolutely delighted with how this photograph came to be and really really do love it for me it, there's a strong powerful impact to it all and i'm really really happy with it So while I was photographing the previous picture that you were all just looking at, this happy little fella was just doo -doo 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 -doo, plodding along down the beach and just pretty much plunked himself right in front of me and so perfectly against this colossal background. And of course, who am I to deny a very nice photograph? He really seemed to linger there for quite a while and he was striking all sorts of different poses. Picture Zoolander, uh, but like in duck form. Uh, I think it's a duck. Uh, it's not a swan anyway, I don't know what it is. So let me know in the comments if you do know what it is. I don't know, is it a duck? But it is such a beautiful, beautiful photograph and I'm so, so happy that he decided to have a little wander down in front of me and, uh, and plunk himself down in front of the camera. It was so, so beautiful. I have no real words to describe <laughs> majestic, beauty of what I just witnessed. 
That was quite possibly one of the most magnificent things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I, I don't know if the photographs worked out. I didn't take much B-roll because I was in like panic mode. And, uh, but I hope, I hope some of them did work out. I was trying to use some of those rocks in the foreground, as I mentioned, to just try help balance uh, the frames. I need to find my way back now. That's easy. Back to the group. I'm gonna head back to the pier and see if I can get a picture of the pier uh, with some of that alpine glow. There's a small bit of light just left on the tops of those mountains. And uh, I'm gonna head back over to the pier and see if I can uh, grab a shot of that. But wow, wow, wow. What an absolutely magnificent thing. Seeing the morning light uh, on mountains like that. It's just magnificent. So onwards we go. That dog, uh, by the way, yesterday when I was out kind of wandering around town, he came right up to the camera. I had it down by my side, stopped, licked the lens and the filter and then ran off. I was like, thanks guy. So there you go, that dog, random dog, good dog. Yeah, good man. Yeah. That was awesome. So having gotten back to the pier, I unfortunately was a bit too late to capture just the last of the light on the mountain tops but I'm still so so happy with how these images turned out just very very simple images with as long of an exposure as I could possibly take and really really happy with this one this first one I cropped at a 4x5 aspect ratio just on the right hand side that I cropped in there was just a lot of dead space and for me cropping in like this really helps focus the leading lines of of the broken pier and ultimately out into the background and the beautiful streaking clouds it's just so so wonderful this particular frame that you're looking at right now is the more kind of recognizable one it's and for good reason because it's wonderful it's just a straight burn down the pier as it then tilts off at the end and then brings us up into this lovely background i'm really really happy with the 16 by 9 crop that i put on it for me it just adds such a wonderful balance to either side of the pier and i'm super happy with how these two images turned out again very um, last minute decision I was going to just go back with some of the folks but decided to stick around and I'm super duper happy that I did because I really really do like these images Well, who could deny that drive? It was insanely beautiful. But look at this absolute marvel of nature behind me. I hope you can see it. You probably can't because the sun is right there. But it is Torres del Pine. Or I don't know, I hope I'm saying that right. Torres del Pine. I don't know how you actually say it. I'm gonna clarify that. But I cannot believe that I am standing here looking at this glorious set of mountains. I, uh, anybody who's into landscape photography kind of I suppose really knows about this place um, just because it's it's <laughs> look at it it is absolutely magnificent and it has far exceeded any expectation I had I am in awe of these mountains and I'm still quite far away from them so I really look forward to getting closer to them now it is bluebird skies uh, which isn't so bad just getting checked in and then we're just going to explore and then head into the National Park for sunset and, uh, and keep our fingers and toes crossed that we get something absolutely gorgeous, which I have no doubt we will, because this landscape will inevitably just paint itself. So let's get settled and then let's get rambling. 
Now I didn't record any kind of b-roll or talking to the camera bits uh, for this because with the sky was just so so blue and I wasn't feeling as colossal as the view is. Listen, don't get me wrong, when you stand there, you stand there in awe of the scene. But photographically with such bluebird skies, it just didn't kind of jump out at me but nonetheless we set up and we played around and I managed to find this tiny little puddle uh, <laughs> and I tried my best to capture a bit of reflection in the water but you're only able to see a very very small amount of the reflection in there but nonetheless it was really really fun to play around and a fantastic opportunity to chat with everybody and you know begin to get to know everybody good icebreakers you know how are you setting up or what are you shooting and how are you shooting it's uh, a wonderful wonderful uh, bonding experience for you know people like us who are on this group who were uh, you know a bit tentative about <laughs> who's that guy <laughs> you know uh, but really really fantastic experience and I'm super happy that I pushed my creativity to try and at least capture something So this is a very simple kind of image. I just popped on the darkest neutral density filter that I had and just pressed the button. Uh, I tried to use the foreground to kind of add a bit of a balance because we lost the reflections in the water. You don't really kind of get that nice symmetry, which is unfortunate because again, like I mentioned just a moment ago, it's, it's, it's gorgeous to stand there and watch and look at and just be in. But in terms of photography, unfortunately, it just kind of loses its bit of luster because you're not getting those c conditions that, you're, that you would ho have hoped for. But nonetheless, it's still a fantastic exercise in playing around and finding compositions and just trying to find balance to minimize that lack of reflection in the water, for instance, and still be able to try and create something that's a bit you know, not snapshotty, if that makes sense. But um, I, I like this. I, I'm happy the way it turned out. A nice bit of glow on the mountains from the sunset. And uh, yeah, I, I'm happy enough with it for sure. We had this beautiful moon in the sky and I'm super happy that I decided to put on the 100 to 400 and just punch in and get a picture. Uh, well, I took a few pictures, but this is the one that really kind of stood out to me. Just a heavy, heavy silhouette of the mountains and just this beautiful, beautiful moon hanging in the sky as it was on its way down. It was such a beautiful experience and the whole evening was just wonderful again like I mentioned earlier it was more an exercise I suppose in kind of getting to chat with everybody and, and, and begin to kind of make friends essentially which is always a plus on these kinds of experiences so ultimately I'm really really glad that we uh, decided to uh, head down to the water's edge and take photographs nonetheless so gotta love an elm moonshot above those dark mountains so really really happy with how this one turned out <laughs> what did you make it after a transition all that so I searched high and low and realized that I didn't actually record an outro for this particular video so here it is from the office how's it going um what a wonderful wonderful couple of days that was it was incredible really really magic the whole place is just so gorgeous and it really is the beginning of the whole kind of adventure into these mountains so i'll keep this nice short and sweet so if you did like the video then absolutely hit that like button and if you do fancy following along for more of this patagonian adventure then by all means do hit that subscribe button but for now i will see you on the next one take it easy everybody cheers mm -hmm.